Hey, it's Kip K back with another weekend project from the pages of Make Magazine. If you do any kind of soldering at all, it's important to remember that you should always do it in a well-ventilated area and you should have some kind of a smoke absorber or smoke extracting fan like this one. Now, this fan here cost about a hundred bucks plus the filter. Well, on today's weekend project, out of Make Volume 19, we're going to build a mini fume extractor that's not only cheap and easy to make, but it's also portable. So let's build it. Okay, here's everything you're going to need to build the mini fume extractor. You're going to need a candy tin. This is the classic uh, Altoids tin, which we will house everything in. You're going to need a couple of the uh, flexible 9-volt battery connectors and a couple of 9-volt batteries. You need a small switch. You're also going to need a 7812 voltage regulator. This takes uh, 35 volts and will drop it down to uh, 12 volts. Well, it'll take up to 35 volts. In our case, 18 volts and a small 12 volt computer fan some carbon filter material I got this at a pet supply store uh, using fish tanks and then also a couple of pieces of screen these were uh, salvaged and left over from the barrel water collector project that I recently did so that came in handy and that's all you need so uh, here's how to put it together to prepare the battery connectors, I trim the wires down real short to conserve space. And since we're wiring these in series, the negative from one goes to the positive of the other and uh, add a little heat shrink tubing there. Then the negative connection from the battery terminal will get soldered to the one connection on our switch. Using the spare piece of wire that I got from the battery clip, I'm going to solder one end of that to the other end of our switch. Then the wire coming from our switch along with another wire will be soldered to the center connection or the ground of our voltage regulator. And don't forget to add a piece of heat shrink tubing before you solder. The output pin of the 7812 goes to the positive connection on our little fan. And the last connection is the positive lead coming from our 9 volt connector and that goes to the input on our 7812. Oh, and there's uh, one more connection to make, and that is the negative connection from our 7812 to the negative connection on our fan. Okay, our circuit's done, and I've attached two 9-volt batteries. We flip the switch, and we have power to our fan. And now it's time to see if everything fits in our tin. Okay, now it's going to be a tight fit, but that's okay, because we don't want things flopping around inside. So uh, the fan will go in, and our two 9-volt batteries, and... Yeah, there we go. Fits good. And now our switch will be uh, mounted in a hole that we're going to drill. And also our voltage regulator will also be mounted inside of our tin. And uh, now it's time to uh, cut some holes for our fan. The fan's 40 millimeters square and we want our hole obviously to be smaller than that. So I'm going to just make some small marks with a sharpie here and uh, then uh, draw out a square that I'll cut out with a Dremel, smaller than my marks. Then we'll use the piece that we just cut out as a template and lay that on the cover. Again, you can just kind of ballpark where this hole is gonna go on, this, on the top. Okay, both of our holes are cut out. In Mark's project, he painted the tin, which I would do as well, uh, just because I don't want to see logos and all that on there. Uh, but for the sake of time and painting and letting dry and painting again, I'm just going to go ahead and install the components and show you how the fume extractor, mini fume extractor works, and then you can paint your own any color you like. Okay, the switch is installed and also our 7812 is mounted to the back of our case. The next thing is to add our carbon filter. And it's important to pay attention to the arrow that's on the fan as far as the direction of airflow because you want the carbon filter to suck the smoke through the fan and out the other side. The thing that I like about these uh, drywall repair kits is the screen material is actually sticky. It's got a sticky paper that comes off. So 
this screen is going to fit there and stick pretty well. And of course you could always hot glue uh, the screens down. And then the other one will go right on the bottom. Okay, now it's time for a real world test. So let's uh, heat up some solder. And there go those fumes. And you see nothing on the other side of this fume extractor. No smoke coming out. So our little mini fume extractor is doing the trick. So that's how to keep your air clean and in turn your lungs healthy with the mini fume extractor. We'll see you next time with another weekend project. <music>